everyone's pretty my name's Cara on Fire and welcome back to Palia. Today we will be finding all the bits and pieces that you need to complete the Vault of Flames. So let's get into it. So first, if you want to actually find the vault itself, you're looking for this kind of doorway just over here on the map in Mirrorfields. If we head on inside, we can go and complete our bundles. This magenta one is the one we are working on. You have four different bundles with different items in here so we can give them a quick look. I'll be going over each and every item individually so you guys know how to complete them and where to find all the bugs and fish and bits throughout this video. So we're going to start with the first bundle which is the flame rod bundle which is probably the most difficult one to get out of all of them. It all requires fishing by the way so you're going to have to be patient and get your worms on. First one is the radiant sunfish which is caught with a average and very normal worm and you can go and fish it up in any of the Kilima rivers. So you'll have to go around the village, find your suitable river and uh, go fishing in it. There's plenty of rivers in Kilima, so you'll definitely be able to hopefully get some. For me though, for some reason, the uh, sunfish really didn't want to spawn and it is a rare spawn, so you can be there all day and night trying to fish this thing up, which thankfully you can fish this thing up uh, any time of the day or any time of the night. So. That's one forgiving thing about the Radiant Sunfish. Our next one is probably one of the hardest uh, fish to catch on this actual bundle, and that is the Flame Tongue Ray. Now, the Flame Tongue Ray is an epic catch, which means it's going to be quite difficult to get, so if you can get the fishing buff from having people next to you, it's definitely a bonus. But it's also caught in the Kilima Village Rivers, but you do need to do it in day or dawn. Dawn starting from 3am to 6am and day lasting from 6am to 6pm. You'll need a glow worm to catch this thing and just keep fishing. I actually caught my radiant sunfish and my ray in the same area so I can highly recommend that area but if you're getting a bit uh, tired of fishing in the same spot totally understand move on and go down the river a little bit or something. Next one is our striped sturgeon, and this is a nighttime and dusk fish. You'll need to go to Kilima Village Lakes to fish this up. So, usually, where Ina hangs out is a really good spot to go and fish him up. So, uh, you'll need a worm, and it is a uncommon spawn, so you'll most likely be able to get one. Our next fish and our very last fish of the bundle is the Dawn Ray caught in Dawn Time in Bahari Bay. You'll need to go to Bahari Bay River to catch this thing and there's quite a few of those around. I caught my Dawn Ray down in the ancient aqueduct and can highly recommend going there and hopefully you'll catch one. If you fully complete the entire bundle, you'll get a special bobber that you can use as a cosmetic on your rod. It is themed around the entire vault thing. It's the orb you see in the middle of the campaign. So uh, yeah, you get a little fiery bobber, which is quite cute. Next one we'll be doing is the Bright Bug Bundle. So we have a few really easy ones in here and a couple of more challenging bugs to collect through this. Starting off with the paper lantern bug and the Bahari glow bug. At night time when you go to Bahari Bay, you're going to see tons, and I mean tons, of paper lantern bugs everywhere. They are extremely easy to catch, and they are abundant to say the least. Now, their rarer, uncommon, more uh, special version, the Bahari glow bug, is also the same. It spawns at the same time at night and all around Bahari Bay. But you just need to have a look around to maybe scare off some normal bugs so it spawns some green ones and they spawn the exact same way a normal paper lantern bug would. But it's green, not blue, so you'll have to look out for that. Our next one, the Spitfire Cicada, is a little bit more difficult to get because they hide themselves on trees. Like most of their species, you can get the brown versions and the blue versions. They look hiding themselves on the bark of trees and this is the rarer version of it. Thankfully for this version though, it is in a nice bright orange and yellow colour, so if you do see one, you'll find it quite easily, and most of the time you will find it on the piney looking trees. They will be perched up against them, and if you get close, they will jet away, so I highly recommend using a slow uh, bomb if you can to slow them down when you're trying to capture them. It can be tricky to get, and I highly recommend making a buzzy jar to help you with this one. 
or if you're having trouble with the green glow bug you could use a buzzy jar and that will also locate those as well so highly recommend doing that if you're having trouble with that next one the fire breathing dragonfly i always go and look for these by the mirror fields and this is just outside the vault as well they are these orange looking dragonflies they're not that uncommon what i tend to do is loops around the mirror fields around the pond around the fields and if you see a little orange thing it will either be spice or it'll be your dragonfly and uh yeah you should be able to find one around there fingers crossed for the bright bug bundle if you complete it it will give you three supreme smoke bombs so it's a little um lackluster but there you go might be some nice money <laughs> now for the ember seeker medallions if you complete the main quest i covered this in a video on my channel already but we will re-go over the footage on it once you complete the main quest and do the whole vault, Gina will give you another quest for the medallions. She will say she found a strange coin and she will give you one. Now that is one of the six, the other five you need to go and find, which is a bit of a pain in the bum, but uh, you'll need to go around Bahari Bay to be able to find one. Now they are quite difficult to find, I don't know how they ever expected us to find them all uh, without a wiki because uh, they were a little insane that way, but uh, go around Bahari Bay and follow these points. One is by Windy Ruins and the next one will be just over from that. So if we follow it away from there, we go to our next point. We're going down a big hole with a geyser on it that you'd usually go to to farm Pallium. And then you go further down through a bit that you usually get stuck in and you're like, oh, I can't climb back up. But we're going in the viney hole in the back to go and get our medallions. So if we follow it all the way down, you should enter this strange mysterious room with some pyramids and your box with the medallion will be right in that room there so you can go ahead and collect it and that will be another one to your collection our next one is kind of near the lighthouse but just below it it's in the lagoon lighthouse lagoon point you'll be climbing down you you can pretty much climb from up from it from the water but this is the uh, top down view there's a little chest hidden in the ruins and you go ahead and pick it up and there is another ember seeker medallion so you see right under one of those little bridges just by the l of lighthouse lagoon next one is thorny thicket it is right in the top of a waterfall quite an evil placement if i do say so myself because it's quite tucked behind the roots here go ahead and grab it uh, right in the water should be able to grab it just fine and climb back up afterwards now we're moving over to the right of statue garden right by the coast there's this little shipwreck with a box underneath and that is another medallion for your collection. If you do collect one of these and your inventory is full, it will go straight to your home storage. So you can go ahead and pick up your medallion coin from there if that has happened to you. Either way, once you've got all these medallions, uh, you should be able to unlock this beautiful brazier, which is, uh, you can put it outside your base. It's a decor item and it sets on fire. So that's one of the decorations you can have for your base if you uh, cash in all of the medallions. Now we're looking into this Seer Chef bundle, which is your cooking bundle. And we'll be starting off with the Chapa Masala, which can be purchased off of Ref for some gold. 2,500 gold to be exact. And to craft this one, you'll need a stove and a fully kitted out kitchen. It does require some rarer rare ingredients and all of that that you'll see on screen. But you'll need to make this Chapa Masala to be able to enter it into the Seer Chef bundle. Thankfully though, you do not need like the star version of this, so uh, that's quite nice for that one. Next one is Heat Root. You will need five of these and they are obtained in Bahari Bay. Now I always find if you go to Bahari Bay Central and you have a look around the Proud Horn Pass area, you can find Heat Root quite consistently. Now the thing with Heat Root is it spawns on cliff faces, so it's not on the ground, it will be on a cliff and you'll have to climb to go and get them. So that is the kind of thing with them if you've not seen one before. So that's how to get heat root. Our next one is the newly fixed stuffed peppers, Phoenix Fire Peppers. So what you'll do for this one, you want to go and buy the recipe off of Ref, and then you'll come back to your kitchen to cook it. You will need the chili peppers to get this one going. You should be able to complete the recipe like so and see all the ingredients up front. 
That is what you'll need to make these Phoenix Fire Peppers. And like the Masala, you will not need a star version, you just need a normal version, which is really nice, and you only need one. Our next one is our Dari Cloves, and these are really elusive and our rarest spice in the game. The strategy to get one, though, is pretty much pick up everything you can see. Go to the north of Bahari Bay, pick up mushrooms, pick up spices, pick up everything like that on the floor like sweet leaf, mushrooms, pick them all up because it will increase the chance of a Dari clove spawning in its place. They spawn on the same areas as the normal stuff, so just keep farming and hopefully a Dari clove will pop up. And a lot of the time people are kind enough to call them out and chat if they do see some on the floor, so keep an eye on chat as well, that is a high recommendation from me. And completing my final bundle with the newly fixed stuff Phoenix Fire Pepper, plop it in there we get the recipe for spicy rice cakes and the ancient rock garden because we have completed every bundle now some people apparently get lucky enough to get the rock bundle with not completing all the bundles but how you're supposed to get it is you're supposed to complete all the bundles and then you get the rock garden but that's just a thing you know that that's just how it goes i guess so here we go back at the household this is the little kitsune thing right here and apparently sometimes once a day in game it can come and leave a gift up here so uh yeah worth having it around and out and about and uh maybe you'll be able to see the elusive kitsune and uh, get some nice rewards. My friend got a uh, gold ore the other day from it. So I'm gonna leave mine here for now and hope something shows up eventually. As for the spicy rice cake, you can find it right in the bottom here. And you can see, takes an oil to start, takes an oil, takes a chili, def oh, a dari clove as well. I was about to say a dafari clove, I'm not playing Conan. Um, <laughs> rice heat root and spice and garlic. Ooh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some of these because you know what, we'll see what it does, see what we can make of this. And let me quickly go and uh, chop this up. Yeah, there we go, start version. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> Very excited. Got to fit it on my table of new, uh, new recipes. Ah, oh, this one has chopsticks. Love that. All right, stick that on the end. Beautiful. And there is the full dish. Got to take a picture. There you go. Beautiful. And that is the new rice cake recipe that you get. And for the stars, it gives you quite a bit of a coinage and a lot of focus. So definitely really cool. Got another recipe to add to our collection. And that should have also helped with the previous video I was talking about with the spice collection. Nothing more has really been said any further on these two, but I figure we'll see them later on in the hotfix but we got this one now all lovely and sorted anyways i hope you found this video helpful today thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye